So, um, tell me who you are and what do you, what do, you do here? Uh, my name's Suzanne. I'm with uh, Polka Cycle Accessories from Toronto. Um, here with a few things. My main focus, a couple things. I, may, I do head badges, chain guards, which are uh, not custom chain guards, but they're my own designs and small rounds of them. So um, you take an original chain guard and you make accoutrement? To yes. It. Yeah, um, and then I have a series of what I'm calling limited edition head badges. So it's my own design, but I'm producing multiples of it. But they're still one-offs, like different colors and somewhat custom. Okay. So it's more accessible for people. They don't have to have a complete design worked out and have a fully custom badge, but they can still. Yeah. So is this all hand cut work? It is mostly hand cut. Uh, all the custom ones are hand cut out of either stainless or brass, the odd silver one. Um, and then the ones, the limited edition ones in the case are uh, cast, cast brass that are then chrome okay. plated. One thing I don't know what to believe. Oh yeah. So these ones here, these are just sort of an example of a lot of some of the custom uh, no, ones and the different styles uh, of mounting and materials and um, these ones are the ones these are hand cut but they're out of steel so it's uh, mm -hmm. what I call like a stencil style head badge that's then screw mounted onto your bike um, and then I have a few like this one here that's on the sample front end um, is sterling silver but it's mounted with a, a double sided tape or two part epoxy and he's a mount so you don't have to drill into your frame to, to tap it. Yeah, and then I also have a small line of bike bags that I've been on. Um, the saddle bags that go under your seat rails with the toe strap. And it looks like you'll hold a PBR very nicely. Yes. <laughs> almost, almost perfect. And uh, acts as a mini cooler. You can also, they also fit in your water bottle cage too. Oh, great. Yeah. And, and then some I have, bags? And yeah, these are, this is a design I'm working on. It's a, a purse handbag where the, the flaps the back pocket work over either your handlebars or if you have a rear carrier right. um, and then when it comes off your bike it doesn't necessarily read as a bike bag it's it's uh, it's just a purse and then it's a fair size inside just cell phone wallet I fit my raincoat in there as well too which is nice and usually when I put it on my bike I just take the strap okay. in these are the chain guards that I'm doing. Um, I did the show last year in Indy and I had a couple chain guards that I had done by hand. Uh, this letter one being an example of one of them and just sort of got a feel for whether people would be interested in that, whether there was a market for it. Um, and it, there, there was, so I was actually able to find a guy in Toronto who, he's a big, big manufacturer, but he's he takes some artists and small time industrial designers under his wing. <laughs> Oh, nice. um, and is willing to do small runs for us and is really accommodating. It's a bit of a turnaround time. He sort of fits it in whenever he can, but it's really great that he's supporting us and can manufacture locally. So that's that. There's stainless steel and it's a bottom bracket mount uh, with one mount on the stay. So, uh, and fits. This is mounted on a 48, but uh, it can fit a 50 as well, chain ring. Looks like you get some actual jewelry, or those? Yeah, just those are no. These are jewelry. Um, I'm sort of working my way through the history of the bicycle in pins. So I've got the velocipede at the back, and then the penny farthing. Because I have a jewelry background, it's just something I like to bring to the show for quick gifts, I guess. These are brass enameled. Yes, uh, it's actually automotive paint. So it's oh. brass that's been um, either chrome plated or these ones are gold plated. Um, and then it's painted with a uh, automotive paint. So, and it fits a one and a quarter head tube. But if I know beforehand that your tube is either smaller or larger, I can always accommodate it. It's not a problem. So, yeah. Well, thanks, Suzanne. No problem. Pleasure. Right. Yeah. <laughs>